So let's talk about crawfish. So, so now, what's the, the best way to eat a crawfish? All right, so. All right. Part like that. I always grab that top shell. It's really a lot of work to eat some crawfish, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But it's very good. Yeah. So, slide it out. And is that all there is to it? Is it? And the hardcore guys, of course, will suck the head. Yes. Because that's what seasoning. That's, that's what a Cajun's going to do. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pass on that. Yeah. All right, guys, we're at Sherwin-Williams. They're having a crawfish boil for their customers. I am a customer. We're gonna go check out Conley and uh, Chris and see what they're up to. We're with Conley and Chris, Sherwin-Williams. They're my paint supplier. We order a lot of paint with our house flipping business. So guys, tell us what y'all do here. Um, my name's Conley LeVette. I'm a sales rep with Sherwin. I've been with Matthew now a few years and uh, we've just, we've had a great partnership and we just, love supplying them. They've been a great uh, customer of ours, so we're very appreciative. My name's Chris Smith. I'm the branch manager at the Sherwin-Williams Commercial Store. I make all the orders and set them up for delivery and try and keep his wheels rolling, basically. Yes, paint's important, right? So what I love about y'all's products is, is we've used Lowe's, Home Depot, every kind of paint you can think of, and yours seems to, to paint better. All of our guys say that it covers better. I guess you guys hear that a lot. Yes, we do. In 150 plus years. Yeah. Right? We'd love to check the inside out. So let's talk about crawfish. So, so now what's the, the best way to eat a crawfish? All right, so. All right. Part like that. I always grab that top shell. It's really a lot of work to eat some crawfish, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But it's very good. Yeah. So slide it out. And is that all there is to it? Yeah, is it? And the hardcore guys, of course, will suck the head. Yes. Because that's yes. what seasoning. Yes. That's what a Cajun's going to do. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pass on that. Yeah. Hey, Chris, tell me, what do you see the biggest mistake painters make in remodeling and painting houses? A lot of the time it's prep work, okay. number of coats. Okay. Try and squeeze by with only doing two finish coats and not a primer. Or one primer, one finish coat, and then you don't have good touch-up issues. Okay. Whereas you guys use a true primer, a true two coats, your paint touches up. Right. We don't hardly ever hear of too many issues with that. Right. Um, because of certain millage of paint has to be on the wall to be able to touch it up. And sealing new drywall with an actual primer okay. makes a tremendous difference. So. What is a more premium product? Do you think oil is better than latex on trim? The only problem is with oils over time they yellow and they turn okay. more brittle. All right. Nowadays, and I n never thought I'd say this, nowadays with a lot of these acrylic coatings yep. that we have, they hold up longer, they touch up, they're easier to work with, okay. and quite honestly, they're more cost effective. Basically, you have oil, you have latex, and you have oil modified. Oil modified, which is what? It's a hybrid. A lot of it will have like a urethane mixed okay. into it, okay. which will give it that that oil feel. Okay. Um, but that's that's only really needed in specific circumstances. You know, you don't want to use that on every single house, and you know, maybe a set of cabinets or something like that. But, you know, on your typical trim work, honestly, it's not cost effective enough to do that. Right. So when you can get the same result out of a product that's not a urethane and just as easy to work with. After Matthew sends us an order, I put the order in the computer. Once I put it in the computer, it pops up on this screen back here. One of my guys starts tinting it, pulling it and tinting it. One of my guys will start shaking. Everything after it gets shook for about two minutes, it gets pulled out. Then it goes into the staging area sitting right here. In the staging area, that's where we will make sure 100% of the order is accurate and ready and in line. Once that's done, then I see that it's done, I'll release it for delivery, set up the next day or same day, depending upon what time it is. Uh, once I release for delivery, my driver comes in, picks up the paperwork, verifies the order is here, delivers it to the job site. Simple as that. If somebody wanted to kind of reach out to you guys and start using you for their paint orders, how would they do that, Conley? Um, well, they can call me directly. Okay. Um, or they can reach out to Chris as well. Okay. So. What's your number? So the store number here is 205-251-4125. Okay. Very good.
All right, so we're at Country Club. This morning, I met our sales rep from Sherman Williams over at this house. We had him come over here and test all of the trim to see whether or not it was oil or latex, and to also check all the walls. Due to the fact that all the trim is all latex paint, that's gonna allow us to prime the whole entire house in latex, tinted latex primer, and that's gonna save us a lot of time and money, wear and tear on sprayers, and stuff like that. Normally we use oil-based primer. It covers stains, it covers smells, sticks to everything. You don't have to worry about the walls being perfect. With latex primer, things need to be a, a little bit nicer. The trim needs to be cleaner, the walls need to be cleaner. Everything just needs to be in a little bit better shape for us to use latex primer. If we go into a house that's got like, somebody smoked cigarettes in it for 20 years, we got to use oil-based primer to get that smell out. A house, if it's had any kind of like smoke damage from a fire, oil-based primer on everything. If it's a, like a, a house where we strip all the sheetrock and we're going back with everything new, and it's new sheetrock, we can have we can use latex primer on that house, um, and and it save us a lot of time and money using that product. Materials in general, everything has has gotten higher. Gas, lumber, paint products but it's the availability of some of those materials and it's just kind of supply and demand. And the, when the demand's still high and supply is low, of course the prices are gonna end up being higher. COVID hitting last year and the year before, it shut down a lot of factories. It put a lot of people behind. So getting those oil base products, petroleum products, um, is, is what is the tricky part right now.